It's Eric back from Ashley's Westland, back with Christine Sellis. We're talking about three other beers that she's brought with her for the Ashley's Belgian Beer Festival 2014. Why don't we start with the one on your right there? This one is the Priori Squad. It's, uh, he started off as a home brewer in 2010. In 2011, he had perfected the quad. And in 2013, his brewery was nominated to be the best brewery of 2013 by Ray Beer. So, I mean, that's a huge accomplishment. Now, the quad, normally quads are very heavy, boozy, sweet. This one is very dry, however. It is brewed with seven different types of malt, two from chocolate malt. It has four different types of herbs and spices. It has four different types of hops, multiple yeast strains, and I'm not even done yet. It has dark brown candy sugar, white candy sugar, and it has a whooping 10%, but it's so dry that you can really, you cannot detect the, the alcohol. It sounds so, like a very complex it's, beer. It is, it's very complex, but you know, it is outstanding, and, and you can have more than one glass and you'll be fine. Good. Now in the middle we have the Lupulus. The Lupulus, that was actually, uh, He's a, he was a brewer for 30 years. He's the one who created all the recipes for our shoe. After him and his business partner sold the brewery to a bigger brewery in Belgium, he decided on starting a small one in the Ardennes. And uh, he created uh, Le Trois Fouquettes is the name of the brewery. It's actually a farm brewery. So he bought an old farm and converted that into a state-of-the-art brewery where he makes this non-traditional triple. It has Three different types of hops, one hop being from Belgium or Poulpering, and one from Germany and one from Slovenia. It has one type of malt, multiple yeast strains, and then if you flame out, he does something really unique with it. That, and he puts uh, time in it. So that's why it is your non-traditional triple. It's eight and a half percent and it's so smooth. It's, it's the nice aroma, but you know, you have, when you drink it, you don't know what it's done because but there's something in there, so it makes it very interesting. That should be a unique triple for our guests. We've got a lot of triples. This one sounds totally unique to what we have. And we've got a third beer on your uh, left there. That is Brewery Bastogne. And uh, of course, as the word said, they are located in Bastogne. They are very close to the Orval uh, Monastery. So what the monks do, they give every time when they brew, they give yeast to them. So all the beers are fermented with the Orval yeast, which gives it a very unique taste. Um, this one that, he, that I have here is the BPA, which is the Belgian uh, Pale Ale. In the, during World War I, the English helped the Belgians fight against the Germans. So, and the, Ger and the, the English were familiar, or they were drinking our pale ales. At that time, the Belgians did not have a pale ale. So they said, why don't we create a pale ale that is destined for the English to help us fight against the Germans. And that's how this beer was actually developed. That's how a Belgian pale ale was developed. Um, so this one is very refreshing. It has the four different types of uh, malts. It has three different types of hops. But then, but then the uniqueness of the yeast really comes through. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, Belgian pale ale. And what is the ABV on that one as well? That is. Uh,